Hey everyone, I'm Gushi and welcome to RPG Labs. In this video, we're going to be talking about the best elemental type you should be using for your weapons, which is Shock. Not only does Shock provide CC or crowd control, but it also stuns enemies leaving them open for critical strikes. This is perfect for a melee hybrid playstyle, both knocking enemies down for those crit strikes. Before I start, if you find this video helpful, please drop a like and check out our Horizon Forbidden West playlist, where we have a ton of builds, breakdowns, and guides to help you guys master Horizon Forbidden West. Also, all this gameplay is on very hard difficulty, and this playstyle will be even more effective on lower difficulties. First of all, if you are playing a melee playstyle, you should know that power shots knock down enemies. For the lowest tier enemies, like grazers, scroungers, chargers, and watchers, they all get knocked down in one power shot. For the mid tiers, like ravagers, snap maws, and frost claws, they all go down in two power shots. And if done correctly, you can stun lock these mid tiers, making meleeing a very viable playstyle. However, if we are fighting multiple enemies at once, it is a bit harder. A lot of these power shots and crit strikes have very, very long animation times, especially when fighting more than one enemy at once. This is where the shock ammo type comes into play and helps you with those knockdowns and CC. So the very first weapon that you should be using for a shock hybrid playstyle is the Death Seeker Shadow. We've already discussed on why this bow is the best bow in the game and why you should definitely get this legendary first. So check that out if you haven't already. On top of that, the Death Seeker's Shadow comes with advanced shock arrows, which does an absurd amount of shock damage at 211. With this much shock buildup, we can easily knock down lower tiered enemies with one shot. Mid tiers take a little bit longer with four shots, but given how precise you can aim bows and at the range you can shock enemies, makes it a way safer option to apply a knockdown to an enemy. Keep in mind that like all stats effects, the buildup that you charge on an enemy does decay over time, so you really want to be doing big bursts of elemental damage at once. Along with the bow, another really good option is the Tripcaster. I got a really nice epic one from a side quest called Blood for Blood. And just like the shock arrows, this has a really high shock buildup at 214. To complement the Tripcaster, you can also get this technique called Quick Wire, where instead of having to shoot two of the different poles, you can just shoot once and it automatically shoots a tripwire of a preset length. Again, just like the shock arrows, this knocks down lower tiered enemies in one shot. But the main difference and the benefits of using a tripcaster is that you can have two set up at once, doing basically double the damage. Next, another way we can apply shock to enemies is the vertical shock trap. There are different rarities of shock traps. And the strongest one that I have currently is a rare version which does 400 shock buildup. Again, we can also set multiple down at once, making it a lot easier to instantly knock down an enemy. However, keep in mind there is a max amount of traps you can have down at once. This can definitely be increased by the armor set that you're wearing or a couple of perks in the skill tree. So if you really are leaning towards a trap playstyle, increasing the amount of traps you can put down might be a good option. I did however wanted to point out one of the flaws of using the vertical shock trap and this is that the sensor points upwards so enemies really do have to be right over the trap for it to trigger. Especially when going up against lower tiered enemies who usually are quite smaller, sometimes the trap won't trigger at all. So there's definitely a trade off for that larger number in shock buildup. Now there's several other ways we can apply shock which actually I don't recommend. Definitely weapons with a lower shock buildup like this Thunderbolt Shredder Gauntlet. It only has 44 shock buildup and even with the technique where you can throw 3 at a time, still can't knock down the lowest tier of enemy. There's also another Shredder Mine technique which basically does a shock AoE attack which again has a very very low shock buildup, a very limited range and a pretty short duration. So just keep in mind this technique is not really worth it. However, there is one thing in the skill tree that is an absolute must for this playstyle and it is the Valor Surge called Radio Blast. At level 1 this only does 300 blast damage and 150 shock buildup, but the ideal way to use this is at level 3 where we can get a total of 1200 blast damage and 600 shock buildup. And on top of that we get a 100% increase to damage against shock enemies for 15 seconds. Let me show you guys how crazy good this Valor Surge is. First, what you really want to do is be gathering up all the enemies into one area so you can hit as many as possible. 
Then once you pop your Valor Surge, all mid-tier enemies and lower will go down in one shot. This is super useful when going up against multiple enemies at once, as you can take out the lower tier enemies first, so you can just focus on one of the larger enemies. Using this at the beginning of the fight gives you time to build up more Valor as the fight goes on, so you can use it again if you really need to. Now the one side of using shock damage is that most of the highest tiered enemies resist the shock elemental type. So this means the Tremor Tusks, Thunder Jaws, Slaughter Spines, and Slither Fangs. I mean it is still definitely possible to hit enemies with a lot of shock damage at once, but in my opinion it's just not worth all the resources that you're going to take just to knock down the enemy once. Even in this clip where I set down two traps, pop that radio blast, and shoot multiple shock arrows, it still takes a while for them to get knocked down once. So for higher tiered enemies, you definitely want to be using other methods. If you scan enemies, they might have a shock canister equipped. If they do, this is definitely something you should be targeting because if you hit it with a shock arrow, and it doesn't even have to be a high damage shock arrow, the canister will explode and immediately knock down the enemy. So definitely scan the enemy first to see if this is an option. Most of the time they are hidden behind an armor plate or really small and hard to hit. So take your time to take off that armor as it usually is worth it to get that free knockdown. A really neat trick is that once the enemy is knocked down, go for those crit strikes and before they get up, hit that second canister to immediately knock them down again. If they do have a shot canister, most likely they have more than one. So those are two free knockdowns as long as you hit your shot. With that, I hope you guys found this video helpful. As always, thank you guys for watching and hope to catch you in the next one.